It might look like we have a bit of a problem because we've got angles that are different. We've got 140, 330, 320 and 150. So that's not what we've seen up until now. Up until now, we've always had something that looks quite nice, such as, um, oh no, that's not what I wanted to do. We've had stuff like this, sin x, cos 20, minus cos x, sin 20. You see, there's always been two angles, like an x and a 20, and then an x and a 20 again. But now all the angles are different. What we need to remember though is that when these angles are larger than 90 degrees, we can reduce them first. So you remember the cost diagram, where we know that this is the all, this is sin, this is tan, and this is cos, and then this is the 180 minus quadrant, this is the 180 plus, or I should say x, and then this is 360 minus x. And so I'm not going to go into this in too much detail, because this is more last year stuff. So we should remember that sin 140, would eventually turn into sin 40. You might have to pause the video and just see if you can remember that from last year. Cos of 330, that will eventually just turn into cos 30. Cos of 320 will just become cos 40. And then sin of 150 will eventually turn into sin 30. So what I'm now going to do is I'm going to go rewrite everything. So it's going to be sin 40 multiplied by cos 30 minus cos 40 multiplied by sin 30. Now everything looks good. We've got a 40, 30, 40, 30. And it's a sin cos minus a cos sin. Sin cos minus cos sin. So that's going to be this one over here. And so I can rewrite it then as sin of the first angle, which is 40, minus the second angle, which is 30. And remember, 40 minus 30, you can work that out. It's 10. And so the final answer is sin 10.